said I'd come back. I never thought you would. I'm so glad. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You come back a tribute. When I heard that news, I drank a toast to you. We'll drink another now. Your sister and mother, how are they? They're fine. They've talked of nothing but you for days, ever since we knew you were coming. Still, the marriage yet? So it has come and go, but she dreams. You know she's been in love with you ever since she was five years old. I can't wait to see them. Do you still hunt jackals and lions? Oh. Or have you become too dignified? <laughs> life you once saved. The best thing I ever did. Judah. This is going to be a very difficult province to govern. I'm going to need help. Your help. Your advice. You want my advice? Yes, I do. Withdraw your legions. Give us our freedom. Unfortunately, the Emperor is devoted to his empire. He's particularly fond of Judea. And Judea is not fond of the Emperor. Oh, is there anything so sad as unrequited love? <laughs> Grim. Well, not grim. Austere. Virtuous. Roman. Judah, I'm going to be second in command to the new governor. Valerius Gratis. He's arriving in a few days with two more legions. Then the rumors are true. The emperor does not approve of your countrymen. There is rebellion in the wind. It will be crushed. But you or your family need of no concern. I'm next in authority to the governor, and you're my friend. I'm a Jew. Oh, you're like a Roman. What have you in common with a rabble that makes trouble here? Rabble? They're my people. I'm one of them. Be wise, Judah. It's a Roman world. If you want to live in it, you must become part of it. You've changed. I've grown up. I've seen the world since I left Jerusalem. I've seen Rome. And I tell you, Judah, it is no accident that one small village on the Tiber was chosen to rule the world. Your legions. It wasn't just our legion. Other countries have armies, fine armies. I know, I fought them. Oh, no. No, it was fate that chose us to civilize the world. And we have. Our roads and our ships connect every corner of the earth. Roman law, architecture, literature are the glory of the human race. I believe in the future of my people. Of course you do. And you can help them. 
How? You're an aristocrat. Your name and your family's name is honored. You're a prince among your people. You're rich and you're powerful. Your reputation is stainless. And the people who would listen if you were to speak out against rebellion. You were to persuade yes. your people that their resistance to Rome is stupid. It is worse than stupid, futile. For it can end in only one way, extinction for your people. I'm against violence. Everyone knows this. I've spoken against it. I shall do so again. Then we're agreed. Now, when can I come to see your family? We had hoped tomorrow. Good. And now for our toast. It's dreadful wine, by the way. It's especially fermented for the Roman army. <laughs> You're very cruel to your conquerors. It's an insane world. But in it, there is one sanity. The loyalty of old friends. Judah, we must believe in one another. Will you drink to that? With all my heart. I've remembered. The court where we played at changing the guard. The roof where we used to stand and throw pebbles at the people in the street and then hide. <laughs> well, we were rascals, weren't we? No, you were good boys. I would have that time again. And here it is. Nothing has changed. Except for the fountain. The old well used to go dry so often, remember? Promptly, every summer. Yeah. A new fountain and a new teaser. You've grown up. He hasn't changed, has he, Mother? No. Well, of course he has. He was a boy when he left us. Now he's a man with great responsibilities. Come. The Emperor builds and builds, turning brick to marble. I almost forgot. I brought you this. I've never seen anything like this before. It's beautiful. Is it Roman? No, it's Libyan. I was there last year. A tremendous campaign. We met their armies on the coast, and after two days of fighting, they fled. Then we marched on their capital. Barbaric said it, but fascinating. Or was, till we destroyed it. Now it's nothing but ashes. I'm boring you with soldier stories. Come with me, Miss Sala. There's something I want to show you. Thank you for this. I chose the right present for you. Is the brooch for a woman. <laughs> 